My name is Kalamu Yasalam. Kalamu means pen, ya of salam means peace, pen of peace. I knew I wanted to be a writer, so there it is. Um, as a result of an English teacher playing, telling me we came into class when she said, put your books away, I want you to hear something. I was glad to put my books away. I didn't, I didn't like English, no way. And um, she put a record on Langston Hughes reciting his poetry with a jazz piano player behind him. And I said, damn, uh, I like that. And I went to the library right after that same evening, looked up Langston Hughes, thought I was gonna see one or two books of poetry. I turned it and there was a whole wall, just like this, this bookshelf here, whole bookshelf of Langston Hughes work. I said, damn, you know? So I started reading Langston Hughes and that's, that was it. That's, that's when I, I knew I wanted to be a writer. I actually didn't start publishing until I got out the army. I taught writing as part of um, writing workshops that I conducted. So that fit in with English. And that's how I got to be an English teacher. There was a community center in the Lower Ninth Ward. And one of the things at the community center, they were teaching photography to the young kids. And I was into photography, so I started off doing that. And while I was there, uh, we found out about this woman who started an after-school program for uh, elementary school kids. It was called the Boys Club. And I volunteered to work with the Boys Club. And ever since that time, in one form, fashion, or another, I've been working with people who are younger than I am. You know me as a teacher in the AP English cl class, right? But I had no desire whatsoever to teach English. I started working with students at the center because I was doing, um, at the time, I was one of the few black people in the city that had produced radio programs that were nationally syndicated. So I had done a couple of programs that had been picked up and carried around the country in different, by different stations, radio programs. And I was asked, would I be willing to teach radio production to high school students? And I said, I'll try, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll consider it. And after the first year, I didn't want to do it again. And Mr. Randalls being hit, Mr. Randalls, he said, well, why don't you, you know, give it another year? Because, you know, the first year is always hard for teachers and blah, blah, blah. I said, I don't have nothing to do with it. I said, this is the way of doing this stuff. Don't make no sense to me. Blah. Well, how would you do it if you were in charge? I said, well, I would do. He said, why don't you try that? I said, oh, well, I don't know. He said, try it and see. So the second year, we, the program was set up differently and we had a good experience. At a certain point, you have to decide what are you doing and what is worth doing and what contribution can you make. Um, you don't need old people telling young people what to do and follow me, because that'll lead you to the grave. <laughs> you, <understand? laughs> you, you get the point. 